My name is Cristina Sanchez Mills and I am a visual artist. I love to paint in all medias, including watercolors, oils, you name it. My art is a mixture of many, many things. A lot of the art I have at the studio comes from within, from my self-expression, from feelings, from stories that I had experienced myself. And so I see each painting as a story that develops visually. Sometimes my inspiration comes from music that I'm listening to, or a smell or something I saw as I was walking outside. I love painting women. I adore painting women. I feel that has to do with the fact that the most important role models in my life have been women. I grew up in Costa Rica. I came to the United States back in 1993. It's a very long, long story, but I was supposed to be here for a couple of years, maybe save a ton of money, go back to Costa Rica and figure out the rest of my life. But I think destiny had a different idea. I always did art, since I remember. I'm a self-taught artist. I would have loved to go to university, but like I said, life had a different way of dealing with that for me. I ended up being commissioned to do several illustrations for some local authors for children's books. Then commissions started to come in and when I say commissions, I mean portraits, special projects, murals, things like that that I was not even expecting. Then one of my authors called me to come to Chatterbug, which is where I have my studio right now. The ladies here presented the opportunity to teach, to teach group and dealing with folks that don't necessarily know how to paint, that want to do something amazing that they can be proud of. When it comes to painting, the process will be very different if I'm doing something in watercolor versus oil versus acrylic or in a sketch. But one thing in general is I have to have the ambience that is conducive to the creative process I find the right music that goes in sync with what I'm feeling at the moment. I have to have my right smell, so I have my candle, and then I surround myself with a specific material I want to do the painting with. A lot of time, because it's easiest, I may go with acrylic, which requires me to sometimes prepare a background, a backdrop, what we call an underpainting. Then I may start just adding the foundational colors that I need there for whatever the subject matter may be. Lastly, you start creating the layers and layers and layers of color to create the final piece. One thing I notice, and it's a beautiful thing, is the more you learn, the better you become as an artist, the more you realize you have no idea what you're doing. The more you learn, the more you're able to see that the sky is still way open and you haven't even reached the tip of the iceberg. So it's amazing. It's an opportunity to always, always continue to learn and not get cocky because, you know what? No matter how good you think you are, there is always opportunity to be better. Don't be afraid of a brush. Don't be afraid of a pencil. Don't be afraid of the result. Be yourself, let it out, and you will be surprised at the things that you can achieve that you have no idea you could do.